Hey Noxus, what you reading, pal? I'm watching this person's Metroid timeline video on my space book. What? Don't question it. Apparently, he suggests that Metroid Prime Hunters takes place after Echoes and not before it. Well, is it really that big of an issue? Indeed it is, Weevil. Now, before anyone freaks out, this is not going to be me saying that my Metri timeline video was incorrect in a particular sense. But I just wanted to bring up a discussion that occurred on the comments on my past video. Namely, a particular discussion that happened with two kind viewers that I think could be interesting for other fans to know. So I decided to make a small video about it. And that discussion asked, why would I place Metroid Prime Hunters between Echoes and Corruption and not between the first and the second game? Again, it's worth reminding everyone that Metroid still hasn't received an official timeline by Nintendo yet. So most of the images or videos you can find online regarding the subject are made by fans through speculation and using elements from the games to determine their chronological order. And that does include my video. Metroid Prime 4 confirmed! So before I explain my reasoning behind Hunter's placement in the timeline, I think I first need to remind everyone that Hunters is a side story to the Prime Saga, and not directly connected to the trilogy, since there is no phase on or mentioning of any previous events that have already occurred. Unlike Federation Force, which states in some way that it takes place after the war in Prime 3. Samus Aran's solitary war on the space pirates terminated their phase on experiments on Metroids. So why did I place Hunters after Echoes? Well, to be honest, it's all because of a couple of observations I've been having for a while. Those being that in the intro cutscene of the game, we get to see Samus wearing her armor from Metroid Prime 2. And during the best ending of the game, she is in her Zero Suit, a concept introduced to the Prime series on Metroid Prime 2. Also, in the opening of the game, Samus is seen fighting a space pirate trooper in the same style as the ones you find on Aether, as well as Federation troopers sporting the look from Prime 2 during Silex's introduction. Not to mention that at the ending of Metroid Prime, Samus finishes her mission while wearing her gravity suit, compared to the ending of Metroid Prime 2, where she returns the light suit, alongside all the other Luminov technology, and goes back to her traditional Varia suit. This detail could also work as a bridge between Echoes and Hunters in a similar style to how Federation Force takes place after corruption in the timeline where Samus also returns to her Varia suit at the end of her mission. Hey guys, Crocomire here, how you doing? Hey, I have um, a simple question. Doesn't Samus have her ship from Metroid Prime 1 in Hunters? Well, doesn't that mean that it takes place before Echoes? Okay, yeah, Crocomire, you make a valid point. The major thing that goes against all this logic is that the gunship seen in Hunters is the one from the first Prime game. So this might make it seem like it takes place between Prime 1 and 2 instead. And for this detail, I always had a small theory in mind. That being that Samus could perhaps own multiple gunships, each one designed for a particular type of mission. After her ship got damaged at the beginning of Echoes, maybe Samus wanted to leave it for repair and went back to the Alembic Cluster in her ship for Metroid Prime. Which, from a design standpoint, I always took it as a ship meant for fast travel. Which in the end could prove useful for her to reach the ultimate power before any other hunter could. With this idea in mind, why not take the gunship from Corruption then? To simply put it, I always saw her ship from Prime 3 being meant more for combat. And because of this, it might not be as fast as the one from Prime 1. Sure, in Prime 3 she often travels from planet to planet, so it must be quick, right? Well, not necessarily. All the planets in Prime 3 are assumed to be within the Federation space. Hence some of the reason you require a Leviathan to open a wormhole to reach phase to begin with. Unfortunately, this location is so far away it cannot be reached by conventional space travel. So seeing how the Alembic Cluster located in the Tetra Galaxy, is out of Federation space, Samus might have needed a faster ship to reach her destination as soon as possible. But then again, since Hunters is a side story to the Prime Trilogy, I think it's easy to assume it can take place between Echoes and Corruption simply because there are more assets taken from the second game and, well, Hunters was released after Echoes. So why not? In the end, it's worth a reminder that all of these points are made from a personal opinion. And until Nintendo releases an official timeline, the fans will probably find ways of proving wrong, we can continue rearranging the order of events that happens within the Metroid series. And seeing this level of dedicated conversations and discussions is what makes me so happy of being part of such a passionate community.